Hey everyone, what is going on? It's Brian, I am back, and we are looking at a couple of new products. I'm gonna do this video in two parts. We are looking at the Blue Run newest uh, summer release of their 14 year small batch whiskey. So this is coming in 113 proof, 56.5%. Um, and again, so this is uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey that we saw in the fall release which was a 13 year uh, and it was also batched. And then we saw in the spring, 10 different single barrels. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna pop this bottle um, and then you're gonna see me immediately review this video. Um, but I'm gonna do another part where I'm gonna have these poured out blind and we're gonna do barrel six of the 13 and a half year single barrel. We're going to do the 13 year fall batch and we're going to do the 14 year batch uh, from summer that we have here. But what's going to happen is you're gonna see me immediately cut over and go to this, but the blind video that I put out will actually be my first time trying the 14 year. So we're gonna be a little bit more articulate in this video after the cut. However, you'll see my first tastings actually of that in the video. So without further ado, this beautiful bottle Too shabby. I want to say thanks to Nick. Nick has been a great supporter of the channel uh, and has been the one who has allowed me to use several bottles in order to bring reviews to you all. So cheers, Nick. Uh, I greatly appreciate everything that you do uh, for me and for the channel. So this 14 year is interesting on the nose. It has a little bit more earthier of a profile. It's got some fruit notes to it, for sure. But it is a little bit more on the earthier side. And with that comes like stewed berry, dark cherry, brown sugar, but not really, you know, almost molassesy. It's, it's, it's darker, you know, it, it has some notes that remind me and I'm not going to go get it, but it reminds me of discovery four when I freshly pop it too. And it has some of these deep, dark notes. You know what? Actually, I might go get it for the end of the video. Slightly herbal. There's something about it that does bring some orange citrus, which intriguingly enough doesn't isn't unfamiliar to some of that mineral orange note that I would get in Dickel. But it's soft, you know, it's just, it's just something that's there. I think it's just an orange characteristic to it with this like slightly weighted medicinal uh, type note to it with those herbal qualities, some chocolate. some caramel a little bit, but it's not overly sweet. And then it's starting to come off with softer notes of old leather, soft notes of smoked wood. Uh, it's, it's kind of char like charry. It's a little bit smoky. Man, this might be one that I just sit with for a while to really pull out what's going on. You might see this video chopped up a whole bunch. This has got, it opens up a whole lot and I don't wanna miss that on the video just because we did an unpopping. And obviously my first taste is initially on the tasting. And the more I sit with this, the more intriguing it gets. It's like a, it's like a, a charred smoked wood mixed with maple, but a savory note that like reminds me of like, at least in Louisville, it's it's this maple candied bacon thing at restaurants is pretty popular. So it's not super savory, it's not over the top, but it has this kind of salty, savory, maple candy thing going on to it with a little bit of fruit, a little bit of oak. 
I'm going to stop with the nose and we'll just go ahead and go to the palette. The palette has these old funky notes like I might find in Russell's, like the Russell 16. And this is, wow, wow. immediately on the path. <laughs> hold on, there's a lot happening at once. It, it, at the same time that it moved from these slightly smoky barrel char, slightly medicinal tones of dark cherry, then it ramped up with this effervescence like cola on the palate. So right now what's sitting there is more, it tastes more like like cola or a vintage cola than any pour I've probably ever had. Deep dark fruits, toasted sugars, uh, caramelized sugars, I guess, like the top of a creme brulee. It's, it's like a smoked glaze of sugar. But then it has spice notes that are pretty intense, but yet the more you sip it, are also really welcomed. What's weird about this is that, you know, I already know from doing the second video first, this, uh, this tastes very different while I'm able to sit with it a little bit longer. Powdered sugar, strawberry candy, like Hershey's chocolate syrup. Not overly sugary, but more on the like, the mouthfeel weight and the rich chocolate profile that's from Ghana that is usually used in traditional hot chocolates and whatnot. Mixed with vanilla bean. And there's, <laughs> the more I sit with this, there is a lot of nuance. I apologize, normally I try and keep these videos really short but there is a lot to pull out of this. I can't get over how it has this kind of char-like lingering on the palate. It's like a nice smoky cherry tobacco kind of finish. And gosh, this is good. This is good. I kind of feel like Matt Porter right now. You know, AD always says stuff like how long his videos actually take because of all the editing he has to do. I just keep taking these long pauses sitting with it. And when I do, more stuff comes out. So I don't know what kind of content is gonna finish in this video. I feel like I just keep saying stuff at the camera and thinking, come on, Brian, what else do you gotta say? You gotta wrap up the video. I don't, I don't know what the video is supposed to be. I think I've kind of summed up everything that I'm tasting. It's, it's, it keeps evolving, but it's such a deep pour. I feel like it's got me in a trance. All right, we're going to sum it up. We're just going to stop right here and sum it up. Palette. While the mouthfeel isn't overly rich or coating, it has these quirky, smoky, char-like, medicinal characteristics to it that are really similar to things I've found in old aged expressions of Russell's Reserve or older Heaven Hill or the Willet bottles, which, you know. So it has this old, oaky, slightly like fruity, slightly blackberry leaning, strawberry leaning cherry slightly medicinal fruit thing going on with these toasted sugars and it just gets you all twisty turning. All right, guys, sorry. I hope that when I actually have this all finished and edited, it isn't as rambly as it seems while making it, but I have to say there is a lot to unpack in this Blue Run 14 year Bourbon. So these are both the batched proofs, the batched whiskeys, I should say, the fall and the summer are both 
proof to 113, so they're not barrel strength. Um, but they both offer you something different to one another. And I find those differences also expressed in the single barrel expressions. I don't know what they're doing at Blue Run, but I have to say everything I've tried so far, I've been incredibly impressed with. I really hope to continue to follow what they're doing. I hope you guys follow along with what you're doing, and I hope that you all find this stuff valuable. I'd love to hopefully be an asset to anyone else who has questions about Blue Run. Um, maybe one day I'll be able to try all 10 of the single barrels, but until then, so far, we are having uh, a great result with 13 year, great result with 14 year, and really enjoyable results with the three single barrels that I have been able to try from Blue Run. So that is going to be it for me today. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in and follow along with this video. You can subscribe, like, please leave me some comments. Let me know if you've tried some stuff from Blue Run. Let me know what your, what your experience was. Did you like the 14 year? Did you like the 13 year? Did you not? I'd love to hear what you have to say. Let me know the kind of things that you all would like to see here on the channel. Feel free to subscribe. You can also subscribe to our podcast. That's the Intro Proof podcast that I do with Drew P. Whiskey. He's also here on YouTube. You can give him a subscribe as well. And usually we are over on his channel Thursday nights going live, talk, talking to people in the industry or just talking to you all of Neat Nation. Thanks again for joining me, everybody. I hope this has been helpful for you all. Until next time, see you all later.